is Mihyun Sa, and I'm a 12th grader at Diamond Bar High School. The title of my TED Talk today is Love for What You Do. Music is my greatest passion. But to be honest with you, it hasn't always been this way. When I was younger, I would practice for hours and hours on the piano. And I was constantly frustrated and confused because I didn't really feel any joy when I played the music. I was always being eliminated from piano competitions and watched other young pianists my age become the rising stars of the next generation. I began receiving piano lessons when I was five years old. And a few years ago, I started studying with a teacher in Los Angeles, whose name is Rufus Choi. Now, the first thing he said to me was, music is a language of feelings. Those six words opened the doors to a whole new universe for me. I started to understand the essence of music, that music is beyond just playing all the right notes, or playing some notes loud and other notes soft. Music comes from your heart. It's a way of expressing and sharing your emotions with your audience. And this also allows your audience to feel the emotions you're conveying. When I started studying music this way, it was very difficult. Not only did I feel that I lacked the ability to play with my heart and my emotions, but on a physical medium, I felt that I had really weak fingers. All these insecurities piled up on me until I was like suffocating. I began coping with the stress by practicing a ridiculous amount of hours daily. During my sophomore and junior years, I developed tendonitis in both of my thumbs. The overwork of practicing so much, coupled with mental stress, was taking a serious toll on my physical health. I realized that if I really want to continue doing what I love for the rest of my life, something needed to be done. So I made sure that I was exercising regularly each day, and I also cut down my practice to fewer hours. When I wasn't practicing, I was always thinking about the music and how I could make the music more beautiful. So I was still going after my ultimate goal, essentially, which was to become the best pianist that I can be. Fortunately, I received the proper treatment for my tendonitis, or it could have basically led to the closure of my musical career. During the summer after my sophomore year, I entered a competition which wasn't particularly difficult. And I have to admit that I felt confident about receiving some sort of prize. When I performed, I played all the right notes, but I lacked the most important thing, which was playing with my heart and my emotions. Now, when I practice, I practice both my technique, my fingers, as well as the intertwining of my emotions with every single note. So it was beyond disappointing for me to realize that I completely neglected the emotional aspect and just singularly focused my mind on, let's see how many right notes I can play. I was extremely devastated after that competition and I was so upset that I literally placed the sheet music of the piece that I performed way below all the music of my other pieces and didn't look at it for the next two months. Eventually, I had to start working on it again in preparation for a different competition. And this time, I promised myself one thing, that I will never play without my heart and my emotions ever again. I really wanted this next performance to be my best, but not because I wanted to win first place. In fact, I didn't care if I didn't even place at all. What I was aiming for was to touch other people's hearts by sharing my emotions, my feelings, my heart, my experiences, everything with every single person who would be listening. I was fortunately selected to be one of the five finalists from the preliminary round. And on the day of the final round, yes, I was very nervous. But I was also extremely excited. You never know what's going to happen when you're in the spotlight. But that limited time that I was going to be on stage would be my one chance to share with my audience everything that I had done in preparation. I played the first movement of my piece, which was Chopin's second concerto, in a bit of a daze. Before I began the second movement, I thought about how much love Chopin must have felt for this particular girl to write such a beautiful and heartwarming piece for her. Now, this is quite tragic, but it was one-sided love because she didn't like him back. Anyway, 
Then I thought about the people I love most in this world, my parents. As I started to play the second movement, I thought about everything they have been through on my behalf to make me the best that I can be. And I think that warm sense of gratitude created a very calm feeling that seeped into the music and flowed out into the entire hall. Right then I realized, this is what music is about. I really felt that spiritual connection between myself and the music, and it wasn't just because I was expressing my emotions. It felt like I became one with the music, or rather I became the music. I became Chopin who genuinely knew the reason why he wrote the music the way he did. This moment was life-changing for me, and it showed me that I still have so many doors to open, and I can continue to make new discoveries and create more depth in my music. Over time and experience, my love and passion for music, as well as the development of my fingers and mentality, have grown. During this pandemic, I felt so empty because I've been unable to share my music with live audiences, so I organized virtual solo recitals to play for my friends and family over the course of last semester, as well as during the summer. These recitals not only allowed me to share the music that I was studying at the time, but many attendees told me that my performances brought joy and warmth into their lives. In this unprecedented time, I've come to realize that my purpose as a musician, as an artist, is so much more deeper than just sharing beautiful music and my emotions. Music enables me to heal wounds in other people's hearts, especially those that were created by the difficulties we all face in 2020 and are still facing now. Because even though I might not have experienced everything they've gone through, my music is a way of telling them that I care, and I just want to bring beauty and comfort into their lives by sharing my music with them. Before I conclude with a performance of one of my favorite pieces, let me leave you with this. It doesn't matter what you do or what stage you are in your development. What's most important is your love for what you do because that's what drives you to become the best you can be. The journey ahead of each and every one of us will not be easy if we pursue our dreams and goals with the greatest amount of love and passion for what we do. We will always have more to learn and we will always have more to experience because no matter what, even if you think you've become the best in the world, there will be room for improvement. But like Ray Bradbury once said, love what you do and do what you love. Never let anything make you forget your love and dedication for what you do. And always strive to give your best no matter what. Thank you.